வெல்கம் டு ஃபிசிக்ஸ் வேர்ல்ட் எவ்ரிடே இன் த மார்னிங் இஃப் யூ அப்சர்வ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் திங்ஸ் அரவுண்ட் யூ ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் எ பாய் த்ரோயிங் எ பால் இன் அப்போ டேரக்ஷன் தென் வாட் யூ அப்சர்வ் டூ யூ அப்சர்வ் தட் அ பால் இஸ் கீப் ஆன் மூவிங் இன் த அப்போ டேரக்ஷன் ஃபார் லாங் டைம் ஆர் வித் இன் செகண்ட்ஸ் இட்ஸ் ஃபாலிங் ஆன் த கிரவுண்ட் அண்ட் இஃப் இட் இஸ் ஃபாலிங் ஆன் த கிரவுண்ட் வாய் இட் இஸ் ஸோ a person jump from a certain height then the person doesn't float in the air he or she has to fall on the ground why a rocket motion rocket always move in the upward direction scientists say that the rocket should have a fixed minimum velocity then only it can move in the upward direction and they have estimated that it is escape velocity and it is 11.2 kilometers per second now the question is why the rocket should have 11.2 kilometers per second to move in the upward direction in the solar system take example of planet our planet earth earth is rotating around the sun why the earth why the earth has to rotate around the sun why can't it can come from this orbit or from its path and move in some different direction why it is happening like this an aeroplane when it's moving when it's, it is moving in the air the bag is falling when the bag is falling the bag doesn't stop in the air it's keep on gradually falling to the ground why it is so there are many questions in our mind and for all these questions there's only one answer you can expect and that the answer is gravitation so today our chapter is gravitation and we discuss about what is gravitation what is gravitational force and what is the role of isaac newton in this chapter and gradually we move on to different concepts in this chapter before the discussion of gravitation we should know that uh, why the objects or how the objects are moving in the circular path now see at the board you can see different diagrams in all these diagrams only one thing is common and that is circular path earth rotating around the sun in the circular path satellite rotating around the earth in a circular path an electron rotating around the nucleus in the atom a person whirling the stone tied to a string in a circular path a car taking a circular turn in circular path so all the circular paths the question is how they are able to travel in the circular path if you uh, recall the mathematics of circles take this example if i ask a question that what is the direction of motion of earth at this point direction of motion of the earth at this point i have asked you now what is your answer think about the properties of circles yes you need to draw a tangent at that point and that tangent gives the direction of the motion of the body that tangent also gives the direction of velocity so i can say the earth is moving in this direction tangential direction for example if you ask me here here so this is point a this is point b at point b what is the direction of velocity or the motion of the body simple you draw a tangent from that point it gives the direction of motion or the velocity if you ask what is the direction of the body at the at point c same method you follow same idea draw a tangent v is the velocity so at each and every point on this path if you want to know the direction you need to draw the tangent if you see the, all the tangents these tangents are changing their directions changing their directions and see that seeing make sure that the body is in the circular path but the question is how how this earth or the body still continue to be in the circular path it is because some force is acting on this body and that force is actually by this body relatively massive body sun the sun is applying force on the earth 
and because of that force earth is not leaving the path it is in the circular path and you know what is that force called yes that force is called centripetal force centripetal force see the symbol is fc centripetal force is the force acting in the circular paths and always it is towards the center of the circle for earth the circle the center is sun only so that's why the centripetal force acting towards the center that is sun so this centripetal force makes sure that the earth should be pulled pulled towards the sun at each and every point now at point a if the centripetal force is not applicable is not applied and what happens there is the answer on the diagram when the fc is not applied immediately the earth doesn't move in the circular path it moves in the tangential path so it moves in this tangential path and away from the sun that's it it doesn't come back to the sun suppose at point b if tangential force at point b if centripetal force is not there what happens same the earth goes in a tangential path and never comes back but it is coming back in the circular path because the centripetal force pulling at each and every point on the circle to make sure that the earth in the circular path and this is applicable for all these examples the satellite is in a circular path because of the centripetal force by the earth the electron is in the circular path because of centripetal force by the nucleus the string tied to a stone describing a circular path because of centripetal force fc the car taking a circular turn on the road because of the centripetal force okay now understand that what is centripetal force so it is the force in the circular motion and acts always towards the center now one more important thing centripetal force yes i have shown the diagram but actual centripetal force originally is not existing some force is acting like centripetal force what is this yes in all these examples i am going to show you some different force which is acting like centripetal force come to the first example earth is revolving around the sun here the centripetal force is actually not the original centripetal force here the gravitational force by the sun or the attraction force by the sun is acting like centripetal force if i write gravitational force is fg now here fg equals to fc so the gravitational force by the sun is acting like centripetal force here the gravitational force of the earth acting like centripetal force there just recall your uh, knowledge in atomic models if you recall you know that electron is having negative charge nucleus is having positive charge when the charges are unlike there is an attraction force between them which is called coulomb force it is also called electric force so here the coulomb force or electric force fe is called electric force is acting like centripetal force now coming to here the string is wheeling around in a horizontal circle it's because of centripetal force but here the actual force is the actual force is tension t tension in the strings so this tension is acting like centripetal force now come to the last example when the car is taking a circular turn you know that when you go when you are driving the car on the highway with a very high speed sometimes with the high speed if you turn the car you can you can see in the movies the car accidentally move away from the track and hits the other side of the road and meet the accident so that's why what we do the driver has to be very experienced that at the high speed he has to take a, a safe turn when he is take a safe turn 
in that situation the car doesn't move away from the track it's only because of the centripetal force it is pulling the car towards the center and here the centripetal force is the frictional force frictional force between the tides of the car and the road so if you see in all examples we have centripetal force but different forces are acting like centripetal forces now our context is this one gravitational force gravitational force is acting like a centripetal force to make all the planets to revolve around the sun gravitational force of the earth is responsible for make all the planet all the satellites to revolve around it to rotate around the earth if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus